edition of Cooking Good with Althea. Well, first and foremost, I want to give God thanks, give honor and praises to the Almighty One who has inspired me because it was during our Daniel fast we decided to share our meals with our church family and others and so we decided to keep on going sharing our meals with you our happy meals um so today we will be making some oxtails nice and pretty um so the seasoning of choice here again is the famous all-purpose or salt or garlic powder and black pepper some persons may use a little um, oxtail seasoning but sometimes if you're seasoning your meat just right you don't need all the seasoning all the powdered seasoning um, as long as your meat is seasoned and you know we're always using the famous scotch bonnet pepper we now leave with scotch bonnet pepper some garlic as always a little ginger ginger you know whenever I'm cooking meat I just love to use ginger I I mentioned before that I like to use it in curry but I use it as always in my meat um, I'm, my browning today of choice is the Jamaica choice um, you can use whatever browning you choose and I don't like to add a lot of sauce to my gravy so I go light on that I'll use some ketchup but it's just a little and um, meat and sea, meat and fish and meat sauce I don't want to take away from the flavor because the oxtail carries a flavor in itself so I don't want to pad it with all of those other sauce and everything like so I keep light on the sauce and today we can use our colored onions the green the red and whatever color you are sat thyme garlic as well so I I washed my meat in the beginning with um, vinegar you could use lime juice or the fresh lime to wash your meat but always wash your meat but my choice is the vinegar I do use lime at times too um, so my meat it is washed already washed and there's not too much fat fat on the meat the butcher cut away most of the fat so I added like a tablespoon of salt and some black pepper I will go ahead again and add my uh, pimento seeds a little more black pepper this is like a, a table a half a tablespoon of black pepper I'll go ahead and add that when I season my meat I like to put the powdered seasoning on one side first then turn it over and add more seasoning to the mix um so like i said i did add my garlic but i'll sprinkle a little more garlic powder over and i'm just gonna add a little bit of jerk sauce <laughs> jerk powdered seasoning not a lot just a little bit here not a lot Alright, so there we have it, and I'll add in my thyme. Break up my little thyme and put it in. Put in my little garlic. Love to cook with the garlic. And have the ginger as well, and also my pepper. So I'll turn over so that it's well marinated. rub it in you know if I wasn't doing it I mean I use you can always use your hands as long as your hands are clean you can use your hands to rub your your, your spice your seasoning in oh god one yeah so how long do you usually let your uh, meat seasoning marinate you know what at times I will season maybe days before if I know I'm cooking this meat I'll season it or sometimes whenever I come from the store with it instead of just putting it in the fridge or the freezer what I'll do is I usually season the meat 
place it into the freezer until let it sit out a little bit after I season it. Then put it in my Ziploc bag and put it in the, the freezer until I'm ready to use it. So, but today we're seasoning in front of the camera. But look at the oxtail. You know, oxtail can be fat, but the butcher, I had him cut away most of the fat. So this is nice and clean, nice and clean. So I, here I have um, a quarter cup. I don't believe I'll be using all of that browning because you don't want your meat to be too dark. You want it to get color, but not too dark. So let me see when I turn over, you know, the, if I have the color that I like. Some people will say, why you make the meat so black? <laughs> so. And I think that's good enough, the brown in that stair. It's enough browning. And like old time people would do, and just stick a little finger and tip on your meat and taste so, and see if you have the right taste that you're looking for. You know, tip your little finger, taste if you have your right. If your taste and the, the taste is not that you're looking for, you could go ahead and add a little more powdered seasoning to get the taste that you're looking for. All right? So there it is. All right, now. So my thing is, it's winter. And um, you could fry the ox, brown the oxtails on top of the stove, right? But me, I found that <clears throat> I found a new way. I cook my oxtails in the oven. What I do is turn my oven on to 350. Then I just grease the, the pan. I don't put a lot of oil because the oxtail itself, it, it um while cooking, it produces oil because the fat that's on the oxtail when it burns, it turns to oil. So I. I don't want that a lot of oil, so I don't put a lot in the pan. I just grease the bottom of the pan, put it in the oven to eat up, and at 350. And then when it's heated now, I'll place my oxtail in the pan. Open, I'll leave the pan open so the oxtail will get the nice brown color. The oxtail will get their color in the while it's in the oven okay my friends remember I told you I am cooking my oxtails in the oven you can cook the oxtail on the stove you know brown them on the stove but like I said before it's winter you can't open up the doors I don't want the food smell in the house so I will brown them in the oven they're brown just as nicely as done on the stove so I have my pot here with the oil heated I am going to Put the oxtails in. Should I take out the pot and just throw it in? Let me take the pot out and throw it in. It's easier. So we'll spread it out evenly in the pot and leave it open. Leave it open. And so you will get the color. I will show you as we go along the color. But when I'm done browning in the oven and get a certain tenderness for the gravy, I'll do that on top of the stove. Okay. How long in the oven? Well, oxtail takes a while to cook, you know, it's and I'm not pressuring because like I said, I don't like to pressure my meat. Um so maybe for an hour, hour and a half. I believe it will be more than an hour. Say an hour and a half. It still takes a while to cook. Okay? Okay, friends. So remember today we're browning our oxtail in the oven. Normally you would brown the oxtail on the stove top. But it's winter. You want to get some of the smell out of the house. So I'd rather do it in the oven, and it can be done in the oven. I'm about to show you how it looks, the color you get. So here it is. Um, it has been in, sitting in the oven for over an hour, browning. So it's nicely brown in the oven, because periodically 
you will check your oxtail and you can add water because now we'll add a little water it's a little tender so it's almost done then I'll take from the oven and pour and finish making the gravy on top of the stove so see it's nicely done in the oven you don't have a lot of grease and all of that it looks nice so I'll add a little water and you can always cover it at this point you cover it and remember now we don't drown our meat with water we just keep it at the level of the meat okay so there it is I have a little water I'll leave it in the oven for maybe another 10 minutes and then I'll make gravy on top of the stove with my other seasoning the green seasoning lovely the color is nice nice and brown just as you would have done it on top of the stove so friends, after cooking our ox tail in the oven for like almost two hours, because you know ox tail is hard to cook. Um, this is the oh, this is how it looks upon completion. See, the meat is tender. All I did was leave it open so it would get a brown color. And periodically, I would add a little water. Always keep the water low to just slow cook it in the oven um so you see you have nice color even though it was done and we don't have a lot of grease if you notice we don't have a lot of oil and that's why i'm trying to avoid that's why i cook most time in the oven and even if you get oil it is settled at the top so you can always clean it off so i have a small pot here this is what i will be doing make the gravy now you can use butter beans, but today I will be using some spinners, some dumpling spinners, because that's what the request is for today. Uh, oxtail with dumpling spinners. But if you like, you can always put your butter beans. No, nothing wrong with using butter beans. But today we are making dumpling spinners. All right. So I have my season here cut up. We have our onions, some bell peppers, and scallion, and thyme. I'm going to add that to the gravy as well. Now remember, we're not going to use a lot of sauce, like ketchup and all them other sauce. We'll just use a pinch because the oxtail has its own flavor, and you don't want to drown that flavor out with um with the taste of the other sauce so here it is i am going to leave it remember i always like to keep my water at a certain level but i think i could add a little more water just a little bit more so i'm adding a little bit more warm water the water is warm because the pot was already bubbling. So, yeah, I'll leave that to cook down a little bit. Yes, I might add um, just a tat of ketchup and some meat, meat seasoned sauce, but not a lot. Because the oxtail has a nice flavor, like I said. So, no need to put a lot of stuff in there. Just if your gravy is not tasty, you could add a little salt or some dash or something, but it's good. This is good. So I'm, I'm not going to add anything more. Okay, friends, we are done. Um, I did add a little, like a little half a tablespoon of butter and the gravy is nice it's not too runny and it's not too thick so it's ready and the taste is good today like I said we used spinners instead of butter bean but you can always go ahead and use your butter bean butter bean is some people's choice but the request was for spinners today so we made spinners dumpling spinners nice oxtail is nice and tender and gravy is just right just right ok 
Okay, my beautiful friends, again, dinner is served and it tastes nice. You taste your oxtail flavor. You don't put a lot of sauce in it to kill the flavor of the oxtail. And we have our nice little salad here and some fried plantain and with spinners. We're going to enjoy our oxtail and gongo rice and peas. So come over and enjoy with us, okay? Oh, I forgot. It's pandemic time, so we don't have any visitors at our home. So I'll send you some, okay? Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. God bless.